Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcbelad 3. Uh, just in case you didn't follow the uh, the dis discussion, if you want to call it that, um, or didn't read my comments basically on episode 49, was it? Uh, this might be the first episode, or this is going to be the first episode where I experiment with a somewhat shorter format, uh, in, in favor of having more episodes per week, more than three. Uh, we'll see how that works out. First of all, I'm going to get Bounty for the two last missions. The Imposter Swordsman, uh, to defeat the Swordsman who has posed, who had posed as Belhart, and injured Varshil. Keep Klein's brother, kept Klein's brother from harm. Job complete. Right. And the Mysterious Box, oh yeah. A novice researcher shelter requests assistance, yeah, okay. Strange gas escaped upon opening treasure chest, causing everyone to see images of unthinkable things. Well, not unthinkable, apparently. Identified contents as dream gas. Drop complete. Right. Oh, God Hunter! Yeah, finally someone who appreciates me. Okay, uh... Job number 91. As I said, job number 90 is nowhere to be found? And, um, well, I guess I'm going to look around once more after I'm done with this one, just to make absolutely sure I'm not missing it. Although I don't see where I could be missing it. I've checked every single guild. Anyway, let's do this first and worry about the rest later. Traveling Guild Worker Escort. Apprentice Guild member Doruel is establishing a new guild. Meet him on the North Solardo side of the Crash Side secret path to escort him to the new guild side. Okay. Hmm, maybe this is a new kind of test. I've heard these people are strange. Uh, okay. Well, we'll see what kind of people those people are. Ah oh, yes, also we are in Gislem, in case I didn't mention that. A new guild, huh? It's strange, nobody's here. It certainly looks like we've been stood up. Great, just great. In before, there are people, like, literally one tile off screen to the left. <laughs> you guys figure out what to do. I'm sitting down. Did we misunderstand which side of the path to come to? Nope, certainly did say the north side. No, I'm certain the job sadly were to come to the north side of the secret path. Yep, maybe the client got mixed up? Or they could have waited and left before we got here. Maybe we should go in after them. That is assuming that they did go in first. Are you serious? Why would you do that? I hate that place. If there's not, if there's not a job to do, I ain't going in. I understand the feeling Lutz is, Lutz is expressing. I also am reluctant to enter unpaid. What are we going to do then? To start the job, we have to find the client. I don't see any choice. We have to go and see if they're inside already. We could call, you know? Ugh. I think we found our client, but is he doing what I think he is? Okay, he was two squares, or two tiles to the left. My bad. I believe so. Yeah, he's standing there, looking at the freaking wall. What a weirdo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. It would have been more appropriate to seek out a bush. Uh, I mean, this is not a... Uh, an area where bushes are frequent, I suppose. We need to let him know we're here without scaring him. Hey, you there! <laughs> Wah! Too, too late. Huh? Uh, who, who are you? I'm Hunter Alec. Sorry to interrupt. It was a long walk here and I drank too much. Sorry about that, ladies. We came in regard to a job at the guild. Are you the client, Dorwell? Yes, I'm Doriel, an apprentice guild worker. I heard you were seeking to start a new guild branch, is that right? Or a new guild branch? Yeah, but I'm still an apprentice right now, so I'm just working towards that. I can't take requests yet, but I can give out bounty and stuff like that. Hmm, so where are you opening this new guild? Right here, in this dungeon! Are you serious? Why would you open a branch in a place like this? Well, it's actually a long story. Uh, make it short, yeah. I would appreciate that. Alright, let's see. Well, my cousin's family is opening a shop in the dungeon here, and I thought I should join them. Your cousins, huh? The end. Wait, that's too short. It sounds very much like something we've heard recently as well, however. Yep, quite recently, in fact. 
Yeah, now that you mention it. A shop in a dungeon? Hmm. It's Dorvan's family. It has to be. Dorvan? Wow, you know my uncle? You could say that. It really is a small world, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, ironically, yes, this, this game world is kind of small. It gets smaller. We met him again, too. Yeah, we met him in Karyote Cave. In Karyote Cave? So his story about opening a shop in that place was really true. I wonder if Rovan, Alvin, Lumina, and Chilena are all right. Uh, Rovan's fine last time we saw him, as are all the others. Actually, in our experience, he's too well. You know Rovan, too? Yes, we accepted a request from him. We know Lumina, too. And Elden, who was really uptight. Is he always like that? Pretty much. Chilena was doing well when we saw her. That's great. I can't wait for this reunion. Come on. What are you standing around for? Let's go. Let's go. Sure. In we go. Do we have to? This family is my, my least favorite ever. And why would they put a gill here? Didn't they learn from Karyote Cave? I mean, they didn't learn from all those individual incidents before, so why would they now? Why would they start now? Come on, let's go quickly. Uh, how far should we escort you? To the center point of this dungeon, please. Alright, stay close. And that should not be a problem at all. We'll see if the game decides otherwise. If it's just a couple of combats, I suppose I'm perfectly fine with that, but... Hmm, apparently it's not that easy. In the first place, my sons are spoiled because you're lenient with them. Kids these days are all like that, dear. Oh, my children are all good kids. Uh, somebody seems to be here. I've heard that voice somewhere. Let's see who it is. But I'm always thinking of my family. Dorvan, you're involved with your kids' lives too much. It seems like you're meddling. Uncle Dorvan! Aunt Shalana! Hmm? Huh? It's me, Dorwell. Dorwell? Oh, Dorvan's son. Uh, Dorvar's son. What a surprise. Is your father well? Oh yeah, he's doing fine. He's probably still dreaming about making a traveling battle arena. Huh. Or his ultimate goal of a portable invader temple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no stopping him. It's a disease, I tell ya. He's a pathetic dreamer, even by our family standards. So, what brings you here, son? I'm looking to open a guild of my own, you know? Apprenticing to start. Uh, well, Dorel, that's great news. Even though I'm just an apprentice right now, this is the time to start a guild. Strike while the, <laughs> while the iron is hot, I always say. I requested this hunter to guide me to the place where I'll open my shop. What, a hunter? Oh! Oh, oh, well, well, well. Customer number one. No, dear, it's Alec. That's right, it's Alec and the others. Dorvan, why are you here? Yeah, we thought you'd have learned your lesson with that disaster in Karyot Cave. Well, um, that shop's location was not uh, great. You got that right. Yes, and it didn't help that we never got any customers. Huh? None? Dear, it wasn't none. I don't recall any customers, dear. Don't you remember the group that came by? But weren't we the group that came by? Yes, well, counting you, we had one group of visitors. Not surprising. I wouldn't want to go back in that place. Oh, yeah. I'm with lots there all the way. Well, we finally realized that that was too far out of the way and came here. What do you mean, finally? It didn't take that long to realize the problem. Long enough, dear. Um... Yes? What happened to Lumina and Rovan? Well, when Rovan and Lumina told their father uh, their father here the location was bad, he got upset. And then? Well, they went their own way to look for a better location. It was a shame, too, because we had, a, we had finally set up shop as a family for the first time. Young people these days haven't got the, the gumption to stick out the lean times, I tell ya. So, Rovan, Alvin, and Lumina, and Lumina aren't traveling with you? Nope. Strong-willed little brass took off. Say, if you want, you can open your guild next to our shop and in here. Really? That would be so fantastic. I really was a little nervous about being in here myself. I'd feel so much better with you and the others, uncle. If we have a guild next to the shop and in, people will come from all over. What What kind of guild, though? Like, 
Underskill branch? Really? Hmm. Maybe our children will see will see that and join us again as well. Hmm. Even if they didn't, it wouldn't suit me, it would suit me just fine. Jorvan! I'll have my own opinions, thank you very much. Alec, you can manage the defense for our group as we head to the center of the pass. Is it okay to add my aunt and uncle to the job? Yeah, sure. That's wonderful. I provide a nice item as thanks. How about that? Item? What kind? What kind? Well, I developed it when I was traveling before. It's the ultimate medicine. Oh, please. Please, no. Ultimate medicine? That sounds fabulous. What kind of effect does it have? Lots. Shh! We're just getting to the good part. Don't you remember the problems with this family's tonics? Huh? Uh, you know, they always nearly get us killed. That part? Right. Hey, thanks for the reminder. I know what you're saying, but don't you think I've improved the tonic since then? Nope. Not a bit. Really? Yes, really. After your problem, I experimented madly, trying to discover what went wrong. And then, voila! I succeeded in synthesizing the ultimate medicine. This time, there's no mistake. It's the tonic you've always dreamed about. Anyone that sips this golden tonic is sure to power up beyond belief. It will put you well beyond the reach of almost any monster. Seriously? Seriously, seriously? <laughs> of course! I'm certain you're dying to try it, right? Here you go! Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with only Lutz trying it, thank you very much. Uh, no? Why did Theo take the new tonic? And for you... Of course. Here... Woohoo, my turn! Well... Some for you... And finally a drop for you. Okay. <laughs> my sword seems to have become lighter. My arm, it is tingling. I feel like I'm more focused. I feel so much stronger. I feel incredible. Amazing, it really seems to work this time. <laughs> I told you, it was no mistake this time, eh? Or our next battle will be a piece of cake. Let's go, I want to meet some monsters now. Lads, we need to take it easy. We don't know if the tonic worked right yet. I agree. Even though we feel great, it could be an illusion. Yeah, because this the very same thing has happened before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to kick some butt with this stuff. Besides, aren't we supposed to test it? Yes, by all means. A human test would be great. Huh? Oh no. Didn't you try this tonic yourself? Why would I do that? I could kill myself. Oh no. Oh dear, this is not good. What's the problem? If they feel weird, we'll just get them another get them another tonic. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. No, that's not a good idea. But it's a little too late. Huh? Late? What do you mean late? I mean late because monsters have already come. Oh, it's just slime stuff. Piece of cake. Oh no, what? What are you worried about, Alec? We're ju we're all juiced up. Hmm. He'll make short work of these ugly ducklings. I actually think he's right, Alec. It looks like this might be pretty dangerous. We're gonna go and wait there... Uh, wait where there are no monsters, okay? I'm not waiting for an answer. I'm out of here. Wait for me. Leave this to... Huh? What's going on? My, my body's so heavy. Strange. My strength is slipping away. Oh no, this is just terrible. Go! Oh, we'll find a way to take care of these monsters. That man of mine is no use. Look what he's done to... Jelena, look out! <gasps> oh. What are you still doing here? I was just watching to see if their condition worsened. You can watch from behind. Well, of course it's going to worsen. Let's get out of here. If we stick around, we're going to be monster food. Sorry, Alec. See ya. My strength is fading rapidly. But we must stop the monsters! HP and MP drain. Fight fast. Yeah, I mean... If it's just that. Eh, whatever. I mean, I have Marcia... She alone should be able to just kill all of these monsters with a single AoE spell. 
Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I mean, yeah. We're losing technically a, a large amount of HP, but. Yes! You know. Yeah, sure. You just wait here, I guess. And we'll see how much I can. How many of them I can reach from here. Two? Oh, there's. Well. Three. I'll take that. Counter! Nope. Counter! A wonderful emoji. Well, 17. Level 17 means that it's not going to be worth any experience. So. What are these slimes? Paralyzed, it was. Yeah. We're all protected from status abnormalities anyway, so. Yeah, yeah big deal. Bring more monsters, really. I can't believe we defeated those monsters! Yeah, that was tough. Oh boy. I was so close. Oh, Alec! Are you alright? They all seem to be in good shape, dear. Whew! I thought we all were done for when those monsters showed up. How could you give us another untested tonic? Lads, we defeated the monsters. Let it go. Uh, no, I actually agree. I'm so sorry for what happened. I had no idea he did... I had no idea he didn't test it on people. It's all right. All permanent harm done. You all seem a little tired still. Yeah, thanks to someone's tonic. Ah, uh. Dorvan, please don't worry about it. Here, I want you to have this monster avoidance tonic. If you ingest this, monsters will stay far, far away. Yeah, right. I'm sure all of you would like a break from fighting monsters for a while. Eh, uh, I don't know. I just don't trust any of you now. Well, you have every reason to be concerned. The tonic I gave you before made a lot of monsters appear. But this time, it will all be fine, I promise. Alec, what will we do? I say we quit this job while we're still alive. Excuse me, Shalana, have you tested this tonic? Of course! And the result? It worked well, I think. Here we go again. We're actually in the middle of the experiment to determine how safe the tonic is. Experiment? Yes. What do you mean, middle of the experiment? We're testing it right now, as we speak. Yes, it's true. I took it too. When we were heading toward the exit a little while ago, Shalena said we should take it. Yes, she said it would ward off monster attacks. You took it yourselves? Really? Uh, yes. Yes. I can see where this is heading. I should be fine. It should be fine, though. The Sonic makes use of an odor that monsters detest. Even if the formulation isn't quite right, they should stay away. Or, you know, they could just get mad like last time. I'm not convinced that this will work like you think it will. You're all giant monster magnets, then. Great. What now? Pray this disaster does not get any worse. Uh, hey, that's my line. And you're not helping. Uh, monsters. Hey, big surprise there. We have no choice but to fight again. Count me out. I want off this ride. What's the matter? More monsters. <gasps> oh dear. This is a terrible disaster. Just terrible. You got that right, Granny. Shilana, come. But what about them? Don't worry about us. Run. Oh no. Lots. What? Don't talk to me. Run. But... Don't talk. Just go. What? <laughs> What's all this unnecessary banter about? Okay, um, that's my said that he didn't want to come. Sure. I'm not gonna force anyone. Once again, I'm just going to... Well, I guess I can try and soften them up or something. Nope. I totally can't. I, I mean, I guess I could. Mm, it's not necessary at all. But.
Or it might just go ahead and outright kill them. Because they're extremely weak. I'm 13? What? Why, though? This is... Why doesn't the game at least throw adequately leveled monsters at me at this point? This is so late in the game. Like, make these enemies at least level 50. And everybody's going to be fine. Especially considering this is an, an optional mission. I don't know. That is that. Okay. Whew, that was yeah, that was so close. Even closer than the first one. Oh Alec, are you and your companions alright? No. Oh dear me, this is a terrible state of affairs. I'll agree with that. I'm very sorry we have to have caused you all this trouble. My wife meant well. I really had no idea. All of this nonsense started with my tonic, though. I take full responsibility. Oh, that's so sweet. Uncle, it's not your fault. Huh? Well, whose fault is it? Ours? Oh my, Dorwell. You're trying to take the blame. How sweet. Dorwell, let's not think about the past. We have a wonderful shop to look forward to. You're right. Let's work toward that. <laughs> we defeated the monsters, and the clients are unharmed too, so... Yeah, but look at all the trouble they caused us already. I... Hey, you guys! We decided to do this for you as a small token of thanks. HP and MP recovered. Yeah, well, thanks, I guess. Ooh, amazing. Yay. That makes the sting of the last two battles a little less harsh. <laughs> and deciding to read that super sarcastically even though I'm not sure the game means it that way. Right, Alec? Yeah. <laughs> Lots, you're so wishy-washy. Hmm? Did you say something? Ah, nothing. Come, let's head to the destination at the center of this path. Good idea. No sense standing around here talking. This is all so exciting. Alec, please keep an eye out for monsters. I will. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. I mean, there are three of them. I fully expect Dorwell to do something stupid before this is over. Um, L L Lumina, or or Lumina and what's his face, Ravan, could show up. That's another option. What brother? I uh, I think we should go back and find father. That's a fine thing to say now, when it's too late. Hmm? There are voices up ahead. It sounds like... <gasps> yes, it must be Lumina and... Oh, Alvin. Right, Ravon was the other one. Looks like we're getting the band back together, piece by piece. Too bad we're not getting paid for that job. Come on, let's go see what they have to say. Indeed. Dorvan, aren't you going to say hello to your kids? <laughs> oh, this is a surprise. Did you come here to open a shop too? I also see those... What are those? Zombies at the top of the screen already. Mother! Yes, and this is your cousin, Dorwell. Hi, I'm opening a new guild, so I'm traveling with your mom and dad. That's great! I think so. Ah, that Dorwell guy is acting like a little too cool. Uh, just a little too cool. Yeah, and he's only an apprentice. Theo! And Alec, and all of you! Yes, your job is to guard us until we get to the destination site. I requested their assistance, but this job is growing by the minute. Yeah, we noticed. Where's father? I is he still at the shop in Karyote Cave? What do you mean by that? Hey, that was father's voice. Oh yes, your father has come along too, dear. Father is here? So that place in Karyote Cave really wasn't any good after all. Yes, yes, let's all have a we-told-you-so party. Why won't he come over here? He's sulking. I am not sulking. I think he's cute when he does this. 
But don't tell him. It makes him mad. Cute? That's cute? Father, we were meaning to ask you if you'd like to open the store with us. Oh dear, that's great. He'll do it. Right, Father? I won't. That man, he'll never change. Because I don't need to. Can't you just recognize what your children are trying to do and accept it? Hmm. I was better off in Carryout Cave. At least there I knew what the bloodsuckers looked like. Now you're just being silly. I'm not being silly. Come on, Alman. You always were the thinker. Come back to Carryout Cave with me. Uh, uh, I, uh... Clearly, son. Say it clearly. Slow down, Alban. I, I think... Here, let me help. Father, he thinks we all think that no customers will ever go to the Carryout Cave. This is, much, this is a much better location because the traffic's better. I mean, I can't argue with that. It's certainly better than Carryout Cave. It's still terrible, though. Yeah. What? Let's not have a big family feud here. She's right. Let's just open our shops together and be nice. I second that. I agree. Fine. We'll try to do this together again. Oh dear. We've kept Alec and the others waiting here while we argued. Yeah, and those dear zombies up there. Yeah, why don't you discuss family business once you've arrived in the destination? at the destination? We need to keep moving or we're bound to be attacked again. Alright. Okay, all of you, let's go. Ah, yes, but, um, th that... You'll get it. Keep trying. So, how should I say it? Um... Oh, what is it? What do you have? S sorry. Here, give it to me, big brother. I'll do it. Yeah, but that's... Um, I, I... What are you doing? Uh... What? What? What is she doing? Mysterious light received. What? What just happened? Whoa! There! Lumina, what was that? We found a rare item on a Mater Mountain. Yeah, we remember that. It was the thing that made our special abilities unusable. <gasps> oh no. My brother actually changed it to make it work properly. Really? I didn't know Elvin could do that. But, um, uh, I... With this item, the effect of special abilities is essentially doubled. If that's true, it's amazing. Hmm. Of course it's true. Alvin tested it extensively. Which right which right there makes me like him more than your parents. Um, no, I... What are you trying to say, Alvin? Um, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. It, it's not certain, but... Okay, now I'm getting a bad feeling about this. <laughs> but now I'm getting a bad feeling about this. What? Tell us. The, the item Lumina used makes special abilities unusable. What? It, it's t true. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I t tried. <sighs> Great. How can I return them to normal? I mean, you you only used it on Theo, right? <laughs> you c can't. Oh, no. Monster! <laughs> yep. Hey. Nice of you to wait all this time, gentlemen. <laughs> all of you, run! I'm so sorry. If I had known. Me too. Yeah, whatever. There's no time to talk now. Just go. All right. What are you doing? Idiots, we need to get out of here. I'm going. Well, this is going to be interesting without using any abilities. Yeah. Special abilities inactive. <gasps> Gasp. Sure, whatever. Okay. Oh, we have golems. Schools. See, these are level 51. These are far from the, the 51. That's, it just makes no sense. This is so random. Oh, and of course, we can't reach them at all. Well, at least she can. Should even be able to shoot the golem behind them. The nope, she didn't. Hmm. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. I guess that's six range. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Oh, 
Counter, nope. Counter, nope. Golems. Yes. Right. You can do this. One, two, three, four, five. That should hit. Yeah, that hits all of them. Nice. Uh, well, I mean, you could take out this one, and we'll see. Maybe Marcia will be able to. Uh, Kill the zombies. Oh, oh, or the ghouls. Probably not, though. Nice, we did level up from it. So this is not entirely pointless. Only mostly. Nope, not even close. Not a single counter hit. Hmm. Yeah. Just wait. Um, well, bet I can't. Oh, what? Oh, right. Nasakenai, you kill the golem. Finally, Marcia is going to finish off the last school. Hopefully. Actually, ah, uh, nope, she's not going to. Well, that sucks. Close, but not close enough. In the interest of ending this a bit sooner. Great. Okay. Was well, this the last then? Or is there yet another stage of this quest? To this quest. I don't know how we did it, but we managed to defeat the monsters. I mean, I'll, I'll give it that. That was more of a challenge than all the previous challenges combined. But still. Sorry. You should be sorry. You almost got us killed again. I mean, in this case, it wasn't his fault, but his sister's. It was really my fault. If you want to blame someone, blame me. Okay, I will. I was just going to. I should have never brought that kind of thing along. Well, okay, that's also true. Albert Lumina! Neither of you are to blame. You didn't do that on purpose. You're so kind, Dorwell. Yes, Dorwell, you're a fine young man. Let's all open wonderful, a wonderful shop together. This is going to be the best shop ever! Here we go again. Well, we beat the monsters and everybody's alright. The family's back together. What's the matter with you, Velhart? He's probably thinking about thinking about his brother. My thoughts are none of your concern. Also, those guys are just walking right through that wall up there. I... Uh... It's alright, Velhart. Everyone mourns the loss of some... But I appreciate your thought, but it is not your concern. Hey guys, what are you waiting for? We need you to guard it to guard us. Hurry, or you'll get left behind. <sighs> I'd rather they left us behind. Well, this is the ship we sail on. We set sail on. Let's stick with them until we finish this. <sighs> Come on, we're almost to the destination. Let's go. Let's hope that's actually true. But I think we should actually be at the middle intersection here. Or not really an intersection, just the middle point. And... We're just about to the center point. Who, who's there? Huh? Brother? Ravan! 
Lumina? Lumina! Ravan! Helen, it's so good to see you. Look at this, the whole family came after me. Not really, but... It seems we all had the same idea to open a shop here. Haha, <laughs> imagine that. You'd think we were related or something. Ravan, you're as carefree as ever. Mother! So, where's father? Is he still stubbornly holed up in Carrier Cave? No, he's here. Hmm. Oh, and look, your cousin Dorwell is here too. Hi there, I've become a guild worker since we last saw each other. Well, this will be a fine addition to the family shop then. Where are these others? Uh, a hunter I hired and his associates. They're escorting us to the center area. Alec and his associates are very strong. I mean, we know each other, right? They just defeated some monsters even though their special abilities were unusable. Yeah, imagine that. This is perfect then. I have a super amazing sword protection charm that protects from attack damage. If you have this, victories will come easier than ever. Have we tried something like this before? I remember it not working out too well. Yeah, I know it didn't work out so well last time. But after that disaster, I looked at the at the ancient document again and realized what was wrong. I know I know how to unleash the real power of the super amazing sword protection charm. Brother. What? We've all given Alec and his friends quite a hard time so far with failed tonics. They've been they've been put in mortal danger a number of times already. Please be sure about this. I am. It'll be fine. In fact, their lives will be so much easier after this. Here's a super amazing sword protection charm. I'm grateful for this gesture, but... What? You'll use my sister's items, but you won't use mine? It's not that. Then why won't you use it? Ravan, don't make a scene. You don't need to present... You, you don't need to pressure them. I'm asking the hunter. Well? I'm, or, I'm asking the hunter. Well? Isn't a hunter supposed to serve the interests of the client of his clients? Yeah, but you're not our client. It is a hunter's duty to avoid unnecessary danger. Ah. Ravan unleashed the super amazing sword protection charm. Oh no! Oh well. Party bathed in a strange light. This is an invisible wall? Has my defensive strength really gone up? <laughs> it's just like the ancient document said. Um. Let me guess. This time we can only use special attacks because we can't use melee attacks. Uh oh, monsters! This is the perfect opportunity. Now is the time to test the charm's effect. Leave this to us. You need to get out of here. This could be dangerous. Alright. Run. Take this. Uh, huh? My, my sword has no effect. Oh no, the weapon's attack isn't working. Heads up. Watch out. Ugh. His defensive power hasn't increased at all. That, that's not possible. You saw it yourself. Apparently it is. Look at the trouble you've caused them. No time for talk. Both of you, escape quickly. Sorry. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Alec, what now? Our weapons are disabled. Yeah, I mean... It's pretty obvious what that means. Um, Marcia's gonna do most of the work, I suppose. Although, you all have some sort of... special attack that's more or less useful. It's definitely... Much better than the previous challenge. Oh, hey there. Ogre mages? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, impulse bomb, I guess. Double illusion is not gonna hit anything. Oops. Could go here. It's gonna, only gonna hit one, I guess you might as well do that then. Omega Breaker! Breaker! And... Yep. Ugh. Disgusting. Wait, what? Are we supposed to be protected from... special attacks? Special effects? Uh, I thought we were.
Okay, but the effect is already over. Yep. Takes care of the ogre. Hey, and even level him up. Okay, you can do this. Okay. Um, this is actually perfect. Oh well, it's not going to hit that one zombie there. Whatever. And finally, we finish this off with the land axe. There we go. Yep. <laughs> that was not fun. Uh, actually, it wasn't that bad. I wonder what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Ravon's charm almost got them killed. Hmm. I think you owe them an apology. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. What? Everyone here knows it's your fault. She has a point, dear. See? Wait. It's not really Ravon's fault. Isn't it? Doruel, you're so kind. No, he's just dumb in this case. Doruel, thank you. The effect of your charm was just as bad as my tonic. Like father, like son, eh? Dad, each of us alone might not be able to succeed, but together we'll manage somehow. Together we'll have the best shop in the whole world. Yeah. Dorwell, Mom, Lumina, Ravan, I'm g glad you're with us again. Alban, Father, I want to open my shop with all of you. Aw, group hug. I've missed you. Well, I can't say I've missed you guys, but... Uh, at least this seems to be over now. Mother. I know you are troubled. I have pain of the same type. Thanks, Velhart. That doesn't help at all. Say, Alec. Hmm? What's it feel like to have that much family? I don't know. Never had it. Which you should know, since we grew up together, you know? All I know is, I wouldn't want that many sisters. One is plenty. <laughs> I do wonder about what it would be like to have that many brothers and sisters, though. Hmm? I don't know, it seems like it could be fun, that's all. Ah, it does look fun. Does it, though? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, great fun. And we'd better get to the center area. If we hang around here, we might get hit with another weird item. Wait, isn't this the center area, though? Right, the area is just ahead, let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, this is the center area. Well, this is it, and everyone made it, safe and sound. I can hardly believe it. And now our task is complete. Yes, it is. Thank you so much for all you've done. This job is definitely a success. Oh, really? Wow, the um, danger music there made me suspect yet another final fight. But I guess not. I gotta say, this took long enough. So, this is where you think we should open shop? It's such a nice wide area. This will be perfect. There's more than enough room to open a beautiful shop. Hmm. Hmm, what? We need a setup where we can be noticed by passing travelers. If we do this just right, we should have a steady flow of customers. Unlike Carryout Cave. Ah. Dear, you can't deny that this is a much better location. How can you even compare it to Carriot Cave? This time, it will be nothing like that mistake. Mistake? What do you mean, mistake? Well, I would call zero customers a mistake. And you think this will be better? Yep, they'll come in droves. Because this is the only major path between North and South Solardo. Yes, but why would they come here when they could go to one of the cities nearby? They'd probably go there. I think this place is no good. If you think this is so bad, why don't you 
If you think this is so bad, why don't you just leave? I don't need to be told. I'll look for a better place. What's going on? We're leaving. But dear, what about the happy talk of opening a shop with the whole family? This place isn't right. We need to keep looking. Some place with no shops or inns or competition. Does such a place exist? <clears throat> I'll show you. I'll scour the world from the bottom of the ocean to the sky above and find that place. Don't we just pretend we were settling down, dear? You don't have to go, mother. I wouldn't let your father go by himself. Brother, what will you do? I, I think we need to follow them. Ah, everybody's leaving. Ravan, are you going too? Why? I just want to know what I what uh, what I should do. If you want to go, go. Oh boy. Uh, they made up and what? They made up and now they're fighting again. Hmm. Families look like a lot of fun. Right. Well, you know they say that people are truly good friends when they have little disputes sometimes. And they're really good friends when they have disputes all the time, right? Why are you saying that while looking at us? <laughs> hey, I resent that installation. That's insinuation, Lutz. We are no longer needed here, it seems. That setback. I wholeheartedly agree. So much for shorter episodes, huh? This is almost a full full hour. Oh well. Oh, hey, and we're actually done. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to end it right here and... Um, as I said in, in the beginning, I'm going to look around the world, the world's guilds once more, to make sure I didn't miss something, anything. And um, if that is the case, we're going to tackle the next main mission next time. So, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.